All right, so we'll take a look at something pretty interesting here. It's uh, I'm going to show you what's happening, and then uh, we'll break it down what how it was done actually. So let's say we have uh, uh, four deposit boxes here with a percentage of four percent. As you can see, a bunch of stuff gets filled up on the screen. So a bunch of things get uh, filled up on the screen when I press enter the percentage as six. It enters the number here, then here, then here. The numbers that get entered here they got calculated and returned to this screen via a php function so the php function was executed by javascript it returned these numbers for filling up of these deposit boxes uh, i had to use like a special formula it's not as straightforward uh, there's a reason for that is because it does like sort of a complex calculation and for this what i'm doing is i'm calling using jquery a PHP function that is inside of a an entry point. So I'll break this down exactly what I mean by that. There is a uh, custom edit view and there is a video that explains actually how to create those uh, custom edit views. And you can add your PHP functions basically here. You can have like a, a function that does something here. And then the, the return value from this function can be entered inside your PHP, inside your JavaScript code here, basically. So that's one way of doing it. In my case, this was not possible. Why? Because when stuff happens on the screen here, I need to grab the value returned by JavaScript. And then I need to process that value by the PHP function. So. Uh, it's not an option for me to do a calculation here. It needs to be done on the fly. And the way that it's performed is via a, a special function, which is here. It's called a run PHP, and it accepts the argument as a JSON object. So this is the JSON object itself, which is going to contain the function name and then the arguments. So the two arguments that are going to look like this. So this is the first one, and this is the second one. And the function itself, we can take a look at the simple structure here. So we're using jQuery. Your uh, Sweet CRM installation is going to come with a specific version of jQuery that you can use. We're doing a post. So we're actually sending a post request to this custom entry point that is going to contain the JSON C data the argument that we looked at uh, just uh, before and when we get a response from that function what happens is that it starts filling up the deposit boxes as we saw here before so just to show you one more time maybe seven percent boom stuff gets filled up on the screen this was calculated by the php function so if we look at uh, the custom entry point and there is a video that explains how to set up these uh, entry points for sweet crm we can see that the, the structure is uh, pretty straightforward. So we're looking for errors. If anything is missing, then we're going to log an error. And then we have a simple switch mechanism that looks for the name of the function. So like that, you can add actually more functions. In this case, when it detects that it's the spread amount function that needs to be executed, then it's going to execute the PHP function here. So the PHP function is inside your custom utils.php file. So this is where you can put all of your custom functions that you've built for the, uh, for your computer, I mean, for your system. And um, there's another video actually that explains how to do it. So this is the, the function here, it's called spread amount. It does the, these uh, semi-complex manipulations. I just didn't know how to write it in JavaScript, so I wrote it in PHP. It returns the value to us. And then this returned value gets picked up here by the by this snippet rather and this result gets returned as a json encoded array back to this uh, javascript here basically so back to this section here and it's returned in the form of the object here so when the object gets returned what i'm going to do with that object is as shown several times before i'm going to fill up the deposit boxes that we saw on the screen so you can use this in uh, multiple places inside your uh, sweet crm you can use it outside of sweet crm as well so this is a, a pretty useful thing to know to pick up as a skill um, so yeah that's basically it that's it for today's video if you have any questions uh, please do let me know and uh, if you found this helpful at all, please do subscribe and uh, leave a like if you don't mind. 
and uh, more of these videos will be made in the future. Thank you so much.